um, and I'm um, doing lots of stuff this weekend. And I've been doing steampunk for, oh gosh, almost 15 years now. <laughs> um, this is Anne, she's our Auslan interpreter for today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this, this is how you like, cheer. <laughs> we'll cheer you. Okay, so we've been welcome to our tiffin party. That's what we officially is called the tiffin party. There are actually rules. Um, yeah, it's exciting. It was actually, uh, we've been run under the auspiciousness of auspices, I can never say that one, of the International Association of Teacher Women. Here's actually one. And I'll be your tiffin mistress today. And Alison. Out there. <laughs> just out there, needs to come in because she is our pop master and she's also our brew master for today. Oh, great, great. The pop master is the person who makes sure everything is doing what they're supposed to do, and the brew master is the one who calls the tea. It's all, you know, very, very proper. Okay, so the sport of tea drilling was created over 10 years ago by Dr. Jeff of the first tea company. And Alison and she is our pot master and brew master for the day. We have, sorry, um, of course today our, t t our choice of beverage is tea and we have our cups which are called kegs if you want to know the official name and we have our biscuits and the biscuits we're using today are nice biscuits or mickeys as they're called under the rules and they're supplied as set out in the third edition of the rules which were compiled by the signatories of the Hague Convention in December 1899. <laughs> so we have six biscuits there and now we require two dunkers. So we need two people for the competition. So the people who actually do, yep, we've got one there and one there. Okay, you two pop up there. Let's just sell these. It's about 19. Go by the people. Now, do you have a cosy? Do you have a second? In case you have a crisis of confidence. <laughs> so, normally you would shake hands, actually, we'll probably voice it down, but we'll bump the elbows or high five today because, you know, like, things are walk away from me. Okay, and you sit on each other and you choose your weapon. So, you get to choose one biscuit, which the. So, you only touch one biscuit, it actually says in the rules, you're not supposed to touch more than one biscuit. Yep. And you hold your biscuit. I should actually have one. Yeah, I should like. You hold your biscuit in your thumb and forefinger. Yeah, no more than half an inch from the end. Or back one point something something centimetres. Yep. So in between three dots? About there. Yeah. So you're not holding it like that. Okay? So you're holding it like that. Okay? You don't do it yet, okay? What happens is after the uh, the remaster and pop master, she's like today, when she pours the tea, actually she might as well pour the tea now because it probably has to cool down ever so slightly. We don't want it too cold. So I will call the the I will call not yet though, I will call ready and then you hold your biscuit above your cup, no more than six inches above your cup. When I say dunk, you dunk, I don't know if you can't see. You dunk, straight in, I count to five. On five, you take it out and hold it up. Now, the winner is the last one to get a clean norm. Now, norm is when you swallow it, but I get everything in. Poof, straight in. It'll be soggy. The entire Becky. The entire Becky. Okay, if it falls, that's a defeat. But if it falls, the other person doesn't win unless they have a clean norm. So basically it's like a it's like a tactics, it's like who's gonna be if you think it's gonna fall, nom it. Because if you manage to nom it after they yeah, anyway, yeah. Does someone have okay. tissues? I can see them being messy. <laughs> if it falls into the tea, that's a splash. Okay? That's a defeat. If it falls onto the table or the floor, that's a splatter, don't put it off the floor. <laughs> yes. Ten second rule normally but not okay. Yeah. Um, if it falls on yourself, that's a splodge, but it has a credit, which means if you're both in a tie, if you've got a splodge and the other person has splatters or splashes, then you win. <laughs> I know, it's very confusing. <laughs> I don't remember all this. Um, and basically the last one's non win. So if, say for example, you, you dropped yours, you still have to get it all in. If you end up dropping it, then that's then it's basically a fail tie. Is there rules about elbows and the table? I believe you can have elbows and the table. It is actually the rules. I believe you can. <laughs> you can actually steady yourself with the elbow on the table. You can. Cool. Yes. 
And then we'll have two winners. So whoever wins this one will go again. Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I put it somewhere. I put an accident and knocked over. There we go. Steps. You know I have to. You It's terrible. I can remember your optical stress and everything. Yes, we're ready. Uh, okay, so um, we're waving at each other today with this moment. They've already done that. Oh, good on you. Dear learning. Okay, so do you have a cozy a second just in case you have a crisis of confidence? No. That doesn't matter, that's okay. It does. Okay, so choose your weapon. And hold your weapon. Yep, good. Above your cup. No more than six inches. Yep. Okay. And when I say five, it's out on five. Okay, so ready and dunk. Three, four, five. Okay, here we go. And the battle again. Oh, I was going to be more commentary, but then I'll make them laugh more than they listen. Have the tension of the other life. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> nicely done, nicely done. I would call that a draw, wouldn't okay. you? <laughs> yeah, it's close enough to a draw because we haven't done that one. Okay. Well, we have to do another one, anyway. Choose your weapons, please. The so dunkers now have their weapons. Okay, ready? Okay, yeah. Getting a lot more clean ones than often. Often you don't get a lot of ones. You guys, Okay, so ready and dunk. One, two, three, four, five. I do like the structural integrity of these biscuits. I will wheel in the tea trolley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, we have a tea trolley? We have a tea trolley. And there's a mic up there, isn't it? I will take my demonstration, my demonstration, my demonstration weapon. Master. She'll be doing the pouring of the tea. The 
It's called a tea jewel. It was created over 10 years ago by Dr. Jeff of the first tea company. And we have been given permission to do some tea jeweling today. We've already had a couple of rounds in the, back, in, the, in the workshop room and we have our two finalists, which are Stephanie and David. <laughs> okay, and today we're actually waving instead of um, shaking hands because of, you know, things. Okay, right, so our beverage today is of course tea, of course, and it is drunk out of cups which are called pegs. And the biscuits today are Nice biscuits or Nikki's, which are supplied as set, in set, out, as set out in the third edition rules which were compiled by the signatories of the Hague Convention in December 1899. We have our two dunkers. Now, dunkers, do you have a cosy? Do you have a second in case of crisis of... No, you can't. Okay, they're fine. They're quite confident. That's okay. Right, so they sit each other, off of each other. They've already waved instead of shaking hands. And what we do is they will choose weapons. Oh, yeah, four first, yeah. So what they do is they will choose weapons. As I said, it's a nice biscuit, and you hold it in your thumb and forefinger. Then we say ready, and they hold it above their cup, and then they dunk, and it goes to the count of five. They take it out of five, and then it's the last person to have a clean nom. They have to eat the whole biscuit in and like that, and soggy, of course, so it might break or fall over. Now there's a couple of ways to be Right. to be defeated. First of all, you can have a splash. And a splash is if the biscuit falls into the actual teacup. For obvious reasons, it's called a splash. Then you can have a splatter. So if it falls on the table or the floor, they can eat it if they want to off the table. I wouldn't recommend they eat it off the floor. And if it actually lands on them, did you want a serviette? You've got If it lands on them, it is called a splodge with yeah, I've lost my place. I knew I was this. New glasses. Um, with credit. So if there's a tie, the person who has a splodge can actually win. So it actually does mean things. And even if the other person has a splodge, a splatter or a splash, the other person still has to get that biscuit in in one clean sweep. That's how they win. Otherwise they are not gonna win. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Okay, they've done this before, so they're not doing it. Okay, so ready. Yep. And dunk. One, two, three, four, five. And now the battle begins. Oh, are we ready? Okay. Ah! So Stephanie got a clean dog. <laughs> he got a splatter. You can eat it if you want to, <laughs> but that, that's okay. So, winner of the first round is Stephanie! Woo! Okay, choose your weapons. Now you might think, oh, I'll be really clever and I'll hang off and dunk him, but no, that actually is a disqualification. <laughs> Yes, and the biscuit must be all the way in the cup. And if you notice, the cups are the same size. The only difference, that, and the, the, the brewmaster has poured them to the same amount, the only difference is the fact that, well, in this case, it's not a difference because they both have milk, but someone might have milk and someone may not have milk. So it depends on their, their preference. Okay, so this is round two. Okay, if Stephanie wins this one again, no pressure, she's the winner. <laughs> if David wins this one, then we have one more round, and then we start looking at splodges and stuff. But that wasn't a splodge thing. Okay, so ready? Over the teeth, over the cup. Yep. And dunk. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. There we go. Whoa. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Stephanie won just by risk. <laughs> so we have a winner, Stephanie! Yay! We'll be doing more tea dueling tomorrow um, at 
for 11sies as well in the workshop room and the final will be at the front of you as well. So now you've seen it's actually not that hard because some people might have thought it was daunting. Come down and see us tomorrow and we might have to get a few more cups. Okay, thank you. Welcome to the Tiffin Party, run under the auspices, I've got it today, of the International Association. Did you win? I forgot to wear my regalia yesterday, but we actually have um, tea, tea scouts, which uh, do tea related things and scouty type things, and sometimes we do have charity things and we have events and stuff like that, but unfortunately with COVID we haven't had much. And I am going to be your Tiffin mistress today, and that's basically the person who I get to do their little like hockey on fire. And um, Alison is from Wyvern Stone Tea around the corner there, and she's got really cool crunk and tea, which I made. <laughs> um, is um, going to be our pot master and our brew master. So I know we've got it probably four, five, four, and hands up people. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent. So we've got five dunkers, and we'll have some rounds today. You're joining as well. You want to try? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yay. So we're going to do the the, the trials, as we say, <laughs> the rounds down here, and then we're doing the final oh, final, final on the main stage yeah. as well. Now, I, uh, who wants to be the first two dunkers? Okay. First two dunkers. Come up there. Okay, so normally you'd shake hands. They might because they know each other fairly well. <laughs> but with COVID, you can wave at the moment. Just, yeah, just in case. And you take your seats down the end table there. Now, do you have a cosy, which is your second in case of a crisis of confidence? A cosy is a second in case of a price of confidence. You don't have to have a cosy. You don't actually have to have a cosy, but I have to ask you if you've got a cosy. If you go, I can't do this, then someone else can step in. So you can have a second. Back up, man. Now, uh, we have the biscuits, and there's six biscuits on a nice white napkin. So choose your weapon. Oh, I haven't got my sample biscuit. So you can only have a cosy then obviously up until the finals and then when you get to the final You point. can have a cosy step in at any time. Okay, so yep. So you hold your biscuit and your thumb and forefinger. Yep, perfect. About an inch and a half or the dots, I think we're okay. Yeah, up to the dot. Yes, yeah, a couple of dots. Less than two centimetres from the top, like that. Okay. Now I'm just going to explain it first, so don't do it yet. Okay, so when I say ready, you hold it above your teacup, no more than six inches. You can put your elbow on the table to help straighten you. We're not going to do elbows on the table here, so you can actually put your elbow on the table if you wish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll say dunk, and you put your biscuit all the way in, and I count to five on five. So when I say five, you take it out and you hold it up. Now, the last one to have clean non wind. Clean non is when you swallow the whole thing. You've got to eat the whole thing. Okay? You don't have to do it one go, but usually most people do it soggy by the stage. Remember? So we're doing two bites? Yes, but you don't want anything to fall on the table or anywhere. That's the thing. So most people usually go, and they go, no. And you go to Now, if, if you delay in putting your biscuit in, that's called bagging. Now, I did not call it that. That's what they called it. It's called bagging. If you do that twice, you can fall. So you're not going to think, oh, I can get a little bit longer here. Because it makes your biscuit soggy. You can put it down if you want to while we're talking. <laughs> you look like you're going to get comfortable. Yeah. Okay, now, if it falls, if it's soggy and it falls, that's a defeat. Now, it depends on what type of defeat you have. If it falls into your cup, it's called a splash. If it falls onto the table or the floor, it's called a splatter. And if it falls on you, it's called a splodge. But with a splodge, you get credit. So if it turns out that you're even, like there's a tie, then the person who had the splodge with credit wins. So if you had a splatter and a splash, and they've had a splodge and a splash, they win because they had the splodge. Does it get that? Yeah. I'll explain that. I'll, that's what I'm here for. So it's better to wear your biscuits. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's better to wear your biscuit than have a fall. 
And if you want to eat on the table or the floor, you can. I don't recommend eating on the floor. Oh, is that Yes, yes we do have those. <laughs> so, just in case. <laughs> if there's no clear winner after two rounds, then we do another third one. And that's it. And if there's no, still no clear winner, then that's just a tie. Okay? So, oh, if it starts sagging, you're better off eating it because if yours sags first, you eat it first. Even though it's the last one to eat it, okay, if his falls in the thing, you still won. So as soon as the other person eats it, you've got to eat it afterwards so it doesn't fall because otherwise you don't win. Okay? Got that? Yes. Okay, right. So, are we ready? So, above the thing, no more than six. Yep. Okay, ready? And dunk. One, two, three, four, five. It comes out. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 You can eat it if you want to. So, is someone keeping track? Yes. <laughs> So you're keeping track? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, choose your weapon. Thank you. <laughs> and, ready. And dunk. One, two, three, four, five. And the tension all oh, wobbling. I can see one wobbling. I can, oh, yeah. And she ate. She oh, had oh the crumb fell down there. See, it got a crumb in the cup. Excellent. See, it's not that hard. Okay, so the winner, keep your cup. That way we can wash it up again. You you drink, you drink your tea. Yep. Because some <laughs> biscuits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, his biscuit mostly missed. Yeah. So. <laughs> He had a splice up. Very civilized. Drink your tea. Drink your tea. Cheers. Oh, there's milk too. Yeah, you told me. Yes. Yeah, we yeah. have milk if you don't have tea. Do we have sugar? Yeah. Yeah. So we have sugar too if you want sugar. So, so the next two people while while they're drinking, that's okay. If you want to um, let the the brewmaster know what sort of tea you like. So yeah. um, if you can put the cup just to the train. Very right. well, young, a bit rare than that. Can we guess? Woo! Take your tea, tea cup. I'm actually my Excuse me. Okay, so I don't need to explain the rules again. Sure. No, I don't. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want sugar? No, you're brave. You're brave. It's exciting. I know, right? Are you going to share? So, do you require me to explain the rules again? No. That's okay. Just checking. No. Are you having milk? I feel like we need to leave this. Do you usually? I would normally have milk. No, I would normally have milk. Go for it. Go ahead, you have It's all. Relaxed and civilized. Yeah. <laughs> of course, um, Alison's used to doing tea because that's. <laughs> it's my thing. It's a thing. I did mention yeah, she's quite a stone tea. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to get the purple tea. Okay. <laughs> yes, the crack tea, crack or the other one? The lemon butter. Lemon, yeah. yeah, the purple one goes purple. Yeah. Mm. Well, there's crack in as well. There's two that go purple. Okay. One's got licorice and one hasn't. She made them all without me. 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 Ready. So, are we ready? Okay. So, get ready. Above the cup. Yeah. No, more than six months, inches. It's what, 15, 13 centimetres, I think. Okay, ready and dunk. One, two, three, excuse me, four, five, and out on five. Come on. And oh, they're holding their breath. Can they hold their breath long enough? Oh, this is serious. Look at their faces there. Oh. And we have both clean dogs and a 
vinner vi vinner hier af. Kan je zijn? Kan je zijn? Thank you. So Meredith is the first round and I think the brewmaster is just getting something. Have some napkins. Yes. Oh, there's a lot of napkins. Oh, I might need some more. Yes. Alright. So Meredith's run the first round. So choose your weapons. That's right. Whatever you want to do. Oh, I'm going to play. So choose your weapons. Excellent. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, ready? Yes. <laughs> ready and dunk. One, two, three, four. Out on five. See, the thing is, the fun thing is, because it's a plain biscuit, it gets soggy. So pick plain biscuits because it's basically closest you can get to the same for each person. Oh. I would love it if we could do two oh. slams, it would be good. Oh. And we've got Meredith. Yeah. So Meredith is the winner of the next round. Oh. Okay. And I think we've got two more. So make your tea. Make your tea, Meredith, keep your Just take your time, there's no hurry, you took your tea, and they will let um, the, the brewmaster to know what type of tea, black, milk, sugar, whatever. So, yes, you get a morning tea with organic um, English breakfast. I almost forgot what type of tea it was. So we've got a team ready. Okay, choose your weapons. So, you got to take your glove off. Now you got to hold it. Thumb and full finger. Oh. At, no, too low, too high, lower. So no more than about there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it has to be held up. Yeah. Are we ready? I see the one like duck. Okay, now it has to be over the cup. Yeah, about six inches. So okay, no more than six, so about 30 centimeters. No more than that. Okay, are we ready, people? Yes. Excellent. Okay, ready and dunk. One, two, three, four, out on five. <gasps> okay, quick. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Do you remember? <laughs> yeah, it's not. Well, you can eat what's left if you want. You just eat it. You can have a go. Oh, <laughs> so we have a winner over here. Oh. Oh. Good. Second round. Come on, you can eat this one. Choose your weapon. Huh? So you want to remove the. Uh, no, 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 no. I think you just have to just deal with what's <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure she might give you another cup later if you want. <laughs> okay, so holding the biscuit. So you've got to hold the biscuit with your thumb and forefinger only in the middle. At the bottom, yeah. Yeah, okay. Are we ready? Okay, and dunk. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Oh. Would you would you like your your biscuit removed so you can drink a tea? Would you like tea without <laughs> biscuit? <laughs> Extra sugar in. <laughs> Extra sugar in. Yes, yeah, so it. keep your cup. Okay, keep your cup because we're going into the final. Okay. Um, I couldn't even That's that. everyone so far, isn't it? So we, have, we have three finalists. Wow. Ooh, okay. I'm getting hungry for biscuits now. <laughs> Finals of the tea jewelry. So we have three finalists, because that's how it worked out. And we're going to be doing a round robin. 
which I did that day and he's going to look nice as he used to do that. <laughs> okay, so welcome to our tip and party. One of the auspices of the International Association of Tea Drilling. And today I remember my regalia, which is part of the Tea Scouts, and we'll be running it today. And in Adelaide we have Antiquity and the Tea Scouts. So we shall bring forth the tea. And biscuits today are nice or nice biscuits, depending where you come from, or nickies as they're called in tea jewelry. And they're supplied as set out in the third edition rules, compiled for the signatories of the Hague Convention of December 1899. So we have six. So while we're waiting for that, we need our first two dunkers. So that is Brenda and Miranda, I think. Is that correct? Um, yeah. Meredith, but I'm sure I've told everyone I'm not bad <laughs> Do you accept the challenge of stitching? If the if the the I'm, I'm I'm not sure what I'm accepting. <laughs> if you want to do dual instead of Bryn, if Bryn decides that 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 can go wrong, you don't have to. <laughs> we haven't had to use one yet. Okay, so the dunkers sit opposite each other, obviously. Normally they would shake hands first, but at these times we put away your elbow bumps to front away. So, I will go through for everyone else what we're going to do first, so that they know what's happening. So, they choose their weapon, which is the dicky biscuit, and they hold it, and they're ready, they dunk it, they count it five, pull it out, and the last one that have a clean knob wins, and that's basically eat the whole biscuit. But, if the biscuit falls before they can actually eat it, then they don't win, they're defeated. But, there's another but. If they're defeated and they drop it and their opponent does not swallow with a clean non before it hits the ground, then they are actually out two in to tie. So the other person, if the other person drops it, they need to still eat their biggie. So basically, see if you should have joined in, you've got free levensies. <laughs> see if you're missing out on your morning breakfast. Second place. It's a lot of rules. If it falls into your tea, it is called a splash. If it falls onto the table, yes, yes, Cozy. Can we, can we cheer? Is that allowed? <laughs> yes, you're allowed to cheer. Yes, by all means. If they laugh and it wiggles the floor, it's all the time. <laughs> if it falls on the table or the floor, it's called a splatter. I don't recommend eating it if it's falling on the floor. <laughs> if it falls on yourself, it's called splodge. But that's not necessarily a bad thing because you get that with credit. If it ends up being a tie and no one's actually got a clean on, if the person has a splodge, so say the person had a splatter and a, and a, a splash, and the other person had a splatter and a splodge, they would win if they had a splodge with credit. Ten. 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 We have two rounds. If there's no clear winner after two rounds, we have a third round. After that, well, if there's no clear winner, there's no clear winner. Otherwise, we don't have any more Okay. Huzzah. Excellent. So we have, today we have the tea of choice is English breakfast from White Stone Tea on the back. And it looks like both opponents are having white tea. Oh. Okay, so choose your weapons. Remember, you, when I say five, you take it out on the phone. Okay. So, are you ready? Huzzah! Okay, and dunk! 
Biscuits, are we dunking witches? <laughs> they're, no, they're nice biscuits. They're actually like certain biscuits you can have, and I would love it if people do tin cans, man. We're not going to have it. Okay, so that's your first round. Now, we're going to have the second round. Now, the second round is actually going to be a bit harder. Unfortunately, Deb did have a little tiny bit of splash, so 
Okay, ready and done. One, two, three, four, five. Greens is already starting. Why are they staring at their biscuits? <laughs> okay, Green has just swallowed there and Deb, you can help us down there. Excellent, so the winner of the second round is Deb, so she wins this one. Huzzah! Got themselves together then, and they became more than good friends. 